All right, uh, for today's video, uh, we will highlight one of the most uh, efficient way on sterilizing uh, cocoa peat. Sorry, I have to do it in the backyard. Looks like I have to go away from our home. Um, I have to keep it secret for my wife. Because I'll be using uh, one of our casserole, the old one. And uh, I'm afraid that my, once my wife <clears throat> noticed that I'm cooking this kind of cocoa peat, uh, she might kill me. Or she might ask me to eat it after I cooked it. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> right, so now what we need is just a casserole. Uh, water and cocoa peat and to have prepared a fire right there So the first thing that we need to do is just put the uh, cocoa peat inside the casserole put some water on it then put it on the fire for Approximately uh, 15 to 20 minutes after that uh, we'll dry it under the Sun and uh, keep it clean um, in a plastic bag or a plastic container so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we are doing is we are boiling the uh, cocoa peat now. We need to wait um, again for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and after that, it will dry it under the sun and then place it into a uh, plastic container uh, to avoid contamination um, for those who don't know yet what's the purpose of doing this um, we'll be using it for the hydropon hydroponics um, in planting lettuce now um, we have to sterilize the uh, cocoa peat uh, to improve the germination rate of our seeds uh, for some reason uh, without us um, doing this or sterilizing the uh, cocoa peat uh, the germination is kind of low or the rate uh, of germination is kind of low especially if we are using those cheap uh, seeds um, we really have to do this uh, though it's it's worth it um, because the quality of um, plants that we will be planting is um, little, uh, is better than the usual one so it's for hydroponics uh, technically so let's just wait up until Boils up. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you. And I wanna show you something new. You gotta know. Every day I got your back here, yeah, you can count on me for that. Okay, so we're just waiting for the cocoa peat uh, to boil. Uh, again, approximately uh, 15 to 20 minutes up until it's fully cooked or fully um, sterilized. So, uh, just to explain the reason why we're doing this, uh, we'll be using the cocoa peat uh, in planting uh, lettuce. Uh, we have to make it or to sterilize it so we can have a higher rate of uh, germination um, especially if uh, we are using those uh, cheaper uh, type of seeds we're in uh, the germination rate is uh, kind of low so let's just wait up until it's, uh, it boils up and uh, that should be ready to go and I'm sorry about background noise uh, I have in here again I'm doing it in the backyard uh, so my wife will not notice it as I will be killed or she might ask me to eat uh, whatever I'm cooking whenever she noticed so stay tuned yeah, it's just and yeah I think uh, if you can see it it's uh, boiling now let me open it again. something to buy the put 
Wait, um, maybe uh, five uh, to ten minutes more, and then we'll start uh, drying it. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down? Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets? Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you, and I wanna show you something new. You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay Oh, you didn't ask for any of this But we reach for the sky Cause we're flying colors now
something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count So we are on the 20th minute now, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's continuously boiling. Or um, that's ready to go. So I'll be preparing the uh, uh, the plays where we're going to dry uh, the cocoa beef now. It's like, uh... All right. So what you can see this is now the cocoa beef. I put it on. A paper box that I folded out so I can scatter the um, cocoa peat. Um, it's what we call parton here in the Philippines. Now uh, I decided to use it so the water will be absorbed uh, easily and we can dry up the uh, cocoa peat in a shorter uh, period of time. So let's scatter it. Something <laughs> Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway it's that sweet life raise your cross okay so that's it um we just need to wait uh for maybe uh an hour so we can put it on a plastic container so we can keep it sterilized or keep it clean or keep it out of uh, any contamination so that's uh that's it that's um, how we sterilize cocoa beet uh, so i'm expecting that since we sterilize the cocoa beet uh, it will be easier for us to germinate uh, lettuce seeds uh, especially now i'm only using uh, the cheaper one so i really have to do this kind of effort to make it a little bit uh, higher when it comes to germination if uh, this video helps you somehow please do not forget to click uh, subscribe button so uh, you can also um, and also the uh, notification bell so you will be notified whenever I uploaded uh, other videos by the way uh, before we ended I would like also to add I'll be uploading um, videos on how to germinate uh, seeds what are those um, type of seeds that germinated a little high so a lot of videos coming so stay tuned please uh, like uh, please like this uh, video if uh, you like it and uh, see you on the next highlight uh, that we will be doing That sweet light